your description in this courtroom was that it was laying flat, and I think you've done that now twice. But in your deposition, you testified that his fingers were actually hanging over the bar. Isn't that correct? Objection, Your Honor. Misstates the witness's testimony. He clearly indicated they were curled. Overruled. Curled. Overruled. So that's a so so that's a distinction that that perhaps I. Um, misstated in one of the two descriptions. However, that does not substantially change my opinion of uh, the impact it would have on the mechanism. It seems Camille Vasquez has once again proven why she's getting hyped on the internet after she successfully made Amber's expert witness admit he was lying during his cross-examination. And boy, it's definitely something you need to see. So, how did Vasquez corner Amber's expert witness? And how will this affect the outcome of the case? Let's find out. On the 20th day of the trial, Hertz team called in an expert in the person of Dr. Richard Moore who was expected to debunk Johnny's testimony about his cut finger. If you were able to watch the trial, you would think that Amber's lawyers did a pretty good job establishing Dr. Moore's credentials as well as leading the jury to possibly believe that Johnny was lying about his injury. However, Camille Vasquez completely demolished all of that and even turned the doctor into a stuttering mess. And uh, based on the pictures that you reviewed, of Mr. Duff's finger injury, you cannot determine what particular object caused the injury to his finger. Yes? Uh, well, I, I can't I can't determine exactly what what object did it. I think that um, I can I can say with confidence that the described mechanism of the bottle hitting and shattering the finger um, was not consistent with the appearance I of the injury. That. And My I think question it, is just very specific. You can't determine the object that caused the injury to Mr. Depp's finger? Well, it's, it's a little bit more of a, of a non-specific answer. I mean, I, you know, I, it, I... During the cross-examination, Vasquez followed up on Dr. Moore's testimony that it's highly impossible for Johnny to sustain the injury given that he positioned his hand flat on the bar when Amber allegedly hurt him. This is when Vasquez literally made the doctor confirm that it was actually not true. Watch how Camille did that. Isn't it true, Dr. Moore, that when Mr. Depp did the demonstration in his deposition, he showed that his fingers were hanging over the bar? Well, uh, even hanging over the bar, it still leaves the dorsum of the hand or the nail vulnerable. That's to not the... my question, Dr. Moore. My question is, isn't it true that Mr. Depp said his fingers were not laying flat on a table, they were hanging over the bar? Yes. Okay. Vasquez continued to grill holes in Dr. Moore's credibility by pointing out that the expert is getting paid $1,000 per hour by Amber's team during his deposition, which is pretty witty given that experts need to maintain a high level of neutrality while testifying. Moore, just at the outset, your billing rate for providing deposition testimony is $1,000 per hour? That's correct. All right. And you were deposed in this action for several hours on March 22nd, 2022? That's correct. And your billing rate for providing trial testimony is $5,000 per day. That's correct. You were retained in this case by Ms. Hurd's legal team, correct? Correct. And over the last few years, you've provided expert services for one of Ms. Hurd's law firms on at least two other cases, right? That's correct, yes. By bringing this up, Depp's team was able to give the jury an impression that Dr. Moore is being biased because of the money involved. Another point raised by Camille is the fact that Dr. Moore didn't examine the injury firsthand when Johnny hurt his finger and that the doctor was not present when the incident happened in Australia. Dr. Moore, is it fair to say that you have no personal knowledge as to how Mr. Depp injured his finger in Australia, correct? Uh, no, my, I have no personal knowledge. My my impression is based on his uh, his description of the injury and the uh, available medical records for review. But you weren't in Australia I, I with was, Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurt, correct? I was not in Australia, no. And, and so, therefore, you have no personal knowledge as to how that injury was sustained? Correct. This is to suggest that the doctor was merely speculating based on photos and deposition videos he watched. This is not the end of Vasquez's masterclass because she also successfully made Amber's witness agree to her statement that despite being impossible, they can't really rule out that there's still a possibility that a vodka bottle crushed Depp's finger. I'm sure that was developed. Do you remember giving testimony in this case, Dr. Moore? Uh, deposition? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you were under oath, correct? Correct. All right. And that was on March 22nd. 2022. Yes? Correct. Okay. May I approach, Your Honor? Yes, ma'am. This was followed up by Dr. Moore's deposition where he testified under oath that the injury could have been caused by any foreign object which is once again, in conformity with what Camille is implying. Line four? Correct. Question, but you can't rule it out completely, right? Answer, I can't rule 
anything out completely. I can't rule out that he caught it in the door, cut it with a knife, or slammed it in the car door. Or, again, as Dr. Gilmer said, we can't definitively say what caused this injury. Did I read that correctly? You did. Okay. Your, Your Honor. Amber's law yeser even tried to wiggle their way out of Camille's expert way of questioning by asking the judge to approach. However, Vasquez was still given a go signal to continue. Now, watch how she continues to demolish Amber's expert witness like an unbothered queen. Let's start over. This is important the jury hears this. So, informing your opinion, did you consider Dr. Kipper's deposition testimony that while Dr. Kipper was providing emergency treatment for Mr. Depp's finger injury in Australia, in the driveway of the house, Mr. Depp told him that his finger was injured when Miss Heard threw a vodka bottle at him. Uh, I, I don't, I, I don't recall that from the deposition. I'd, I'd be happy to review if you have the deposition available. Amber has one expert off the list of witnesses that can help her win the case because I don't know about you, but the way Depp's team grilled Dr. Moore on the stand pretty much flushed his testimony down the drain. How about you? Do you think Amber's expert witness is lying and did Vasquez successfully prove these lies? Let us know in the comments below.